Hello, I'm Kev Poulton. Hello, I'm Kevin Mack. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Kevin 30 Report. So here we are almost at the end of another fairly hectic year, which we knew we had a year ahead of us, but we, we sit here and smile, we'll stand here and smile now because um, we've just recently reached 95% double vaccination rate in both cities. And I know that we're all pretty proud of that achievement each side of the border, aren't we? Yeah, but we continually say we've got somewhere, but then they've got to have booster shots. So I think that's really credit to the community and credit to both communities and the region. I think the hardest thing for me though, tongue in cheek, was not being able to go to Greg's for takeaway take hamburgers. Let's go have some fun. Yeah, let's go and get into the carpool karaoke. Carpool kevioke. Carpool kevioke. Carpool kevioke. Let's and we've go got the and do it. Water bubble playlist. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Stuck in the middle with you. So 2C1C, yeah. whilst it's been a, a, a dream and a vision of both cities for, for some years, um, we continue to see each year different improvements made and efficiencies found. I guess one of the highlights for me was the fact that looking at how people visit Albury and Wodonga, they don't just visit one or the other, they visit us both at the one time. So, so it makes sense the tourism offering needs to be shared and it needs to be a shared platform. There was also the digital economy and smart community stuff and the environmental stuff that we did during the year and you throw in a bit of asset uh, reproduction with the Albury Wodonga Cricket Academy. That was a really, really great initiative and it continues to be be built and it's up to stage three at the moment. And, and, and how good is it that Wodonga working with Albury and the Harve Waste Initiative, um, we are one of the top one of the top Victorian councils for reclaiming and, and diverting waste away from landfill, um, but it, we're also doing that more cost effectively than a lot of other councils right throughout the entire state of Victoria. So it just goes to show we're unlocking the strengths of the two cities, one community. This is so true, it's so true to border closure. Right? Just got back from the border With no hamburgers at Greg's there ought to be a whole lot so Kevin, we've spoken about the challenging environment of border closures, COVID-19. Mm. Um, there's no doubt it was um, each other that we relied upon personally, not just beyond councillor groups as well, but um, pretty confronting times, challenging long days in media, trying to put our community's best interests forward and make sure that we're heard. Mm. Um, you're now approaching the end of a substantial substantial time as a councillor and as the mayor of Albury City. Um, in your final hours of being the mayor, what do you reflect upon um, as, as, you know, being the most challenging times? Has it been the last 12 months? Oh, look, the last two years hasn't been ideal for any of us and it wouldn't be, it wouldn't, wouldn't be for us to say poor me because that's our job, mm. to stand up in crisis and deliver where we can deliver. I think more so um, it's about being able to be constantly at the beck and call of everyone in crisis and because they weren't getting any interface with the state or federal government on either side of the river they were using everything at their disposal through frustration and desperation to reach out and that's every social networking platform you can think of they're sending messages and you're trying to respond to them all and it you know it's like it's like a, a grass fire it was just and it, it kept going until the point they opened the borders again I was still, still, still responding to messages, and it, that puts pressure on you as an individual, but also on your family, your your, your own downtime, and look, it's it's an, an ordinary time that we've had in the history of this country. But more importantly, it's not the only thing that defines who you are as a person or what you do as a mayor or, or the councillor in these two cities. You mentioned positive note uh, the Inland Rail Conference, one of the only substantial conference <laughs> with 400 of delegates that came to Albury Wodonga. I know yeah. yourself and former mayor of Wodonga, councillor Anna Speedy, went and secured that conference, and we've managed to deliver that. and And it was um, really good fun. Uh, I think one of my highlights of working together over the past 12 months was when we did the bus tours around both cities. Yeah. Um, and 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 both bus drivers' names were Steve from Martins. Yeah. And and um, and on my introductory speech, so we do things really simply here. With our bus drivers are Steve and our mayors are Kevin. Yeah. And always look on the bright side of life. Did we have fun? Yeah. 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 I think there was a bit of dark humour at times well, where if you didn't laugh, you would have cried. Yeah. I always thought this was a uh, motivational song, not a drama. I get knocked down, and I get up again. They ever gonna keep me down? I get knocked down, and I get up again. They ever gonna keep me down? I get knocked down, I get up again. They ever gonna keep me down? I get knocked down, and I get up again. If my 
and Aubrey Porter, Aubrey Wodonga Porter song. Yes. We get knocked down and we get up again. We're a resilient bunch, aren't we? All right, we're here. So on a more serious note, 2021 has been an extremely challenging year for both sides of the river, our two cities, our one community. But we really do thank you for your efforts and the attention you've given to each and every challenge that's come across in front of you. And more importantly, when we've asked you and requested that you do something to help your communities, you've stood up. And I think that really is critical for us as a community, Aubrey Wodonga, to get through difficult times. So thank you very much for your support of us and our families, but more importantly, for your support of your community.